Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Generation 2. We're continuing our trip through Route 41 to Cinnawood. All the, so basically, blue, water, and trainers. I'm going for you to, to do this at night, though. Oh, you like the uh, nighttime aesthetic? Of course, I always did. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, oh who the fuck shit. You? Fucking tentacle. That's a good last poison cure, too. <laughs> I love how our strings are 32 and everybody else is trying to struggle to catch yeah. up. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be doing some off screen grinding. Because again, this place is pretty good for. Well, not so much for Growlithe's case. But, no, 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 because it doesn't matter. Because Tentacool and Tentacruel don't have any water attacks. I think they have Bubble Beam. No, they have um, they have Poison Sting, they have Supersonic, they have Acid, and something else they don't they don't use even with Growlithe on the front lines. I'm pretty sure Tentacruel and Bubble Beam. If they do, they would have used it. Because I've grinded Tentacles and Cruels off screen later on with Growlithe, and they never use any water attacks. They just use Supersonic, uh, Acid, and Poison Sting, which makes me think they don't have any water attack at all. Hmm. Ow. So you had just headbutt a fucking star. Damn right, and it worked. And this is the one with the star and the Stormy, then, Yeah, this right? is the one with the star and the Stormy, yeah. This is the, this is the Misty callback. I love the Stormy, though, is that um, with Stormy, you can't tell what it's going to have until it fucking starts swinging at you. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen Cosmic Power sets. I've seen Recover sets. It's versatile. I'm also sure it's only because I'm 12 levels above it that it, I outsped yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it's gem was purple as opposed to red. Yeah, a little weird. Because probably color palette limitations. You fucking cheater! <laughs> also, it's the same, it, it reminiscent of the similar hairstyle to Misty in Gem 1. Is this a Tentacruel? No. No, it's uh, amazing. <laughs> in Gen <laughs> was it, Why is this like Skeeter from Doug? Like a Skeeter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a Remory? Yes, it is. Underneath its fist? Defense? Yes, it is. In fact, Gen 4 gave it a pre-evolution pre in Mantyke. Yeah. And to get Mantyke to evolve, you had to level up Mantine while it had a Remoraid in the party. Why the correlation? What's the correlation? Uh, usually Remoraid or usually a little... I forget the species that uh, Remoraid is based off of. But sometimes they'll cling onto the bottom of a Mana Ray's wings for basic transportation and protection. freeloader? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I cannot I hear don't. it again. Music. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> I'm trying to enjoy the music, goddammit. Well, oh, fuck you. Fight me. <laughs> the God damn it. The, the secrets of the World Islands. The secrets of the World Islands. Just that is the secret. Second. My friend Giant is calling me. Oh, I picked up something nice. And wants me to me. Oh, that's really nice. I don't have fly yet, though. You're going to wait. Fuck. <laughs> 34. That's close to the ruins of Alpha, I think. Wee, back there. And you're just <laughs> fucking with me. <laughs> Booga <laughs> It's kind of funny that it's like, it looks like they're just talking to the Lapras. I want to call bullshit on that. At night, Staryu's gather on the water surface. I have not encountered one goddamn Staryu on the way from this. It was all tentacles, a couple of tentacruels, and mantines. I think oh, it's horsey. Like a, oh, horsey. This thing here gets a buff in this gen because it gains an evolution into Kingdra, a water dragon type. Unfortunately for, or fortunately if you're, if you raise on um, horsey or Kingdra yourself, the only thing it's weak to is dragon type attacks, and there's a total whopping dragon usable attacks of three: yeah. Twister, Dragon Breath, and Outrage. Outrage is on the level 55 Dragonite, you're, which probably you may not see. Dragon uh, Dragon Breath sucks, but it's going to be the best you can really get. But uh, and the other one being Twister, lol, no. <laughs> Kingdra, however, is Water Dragon, so therefore it's only weak to other dragon type attacks and fairies of Gen 6. King, this, however, Kingdra can be easily be bred for Ice Beam, meaning you can easily cover your weakness and, and not have to worry shit from Shinola. Unfortunately, over for Kingdra, though, its evolution, I believe, is a trade item. So You need a King's Rock, I think. Was it, it King's Rock? I think or, it's Dragon Scale. Or Dragon Scale, yeah. Which means that you got to hope like how oh, you got a friend who's really going to be giving you that Kingdra back. Yeah. I know, King's Rock, I know King's Rock was for Slow King. But. Slow King and Polyworld. That's right, yeah. Polyworld can also evolve into Polytoad. Yeah. Unfortunately, you get one King's Rock in this game because fuck you, yeah, we want to promote you. trading. <laughs> Buy two copies of the game. No, see, it's actually because we're in Japan and we believe that everybody's going to be trading among each other equally and validly, and they do in Japan. In Japan, <laughs> yeah. In America, in America, we're a little more selfish. Yeah, because I remember, I still remember the time two of my friends, Andrew and Carl, were trading a horner amongst each other so that my friend Carl can get the Gengar, and Andrew went, fuck you, buddy, and that's what says Gengar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they fought over it, too. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, literally or a Pokemon battle? <laughs> when you're in... <laughs> uh, at first, it was going to be at first it was gonna be over a Pokemon battle. Then Andrew said, fuck you. And then they actually slugged each other over it. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Meanwhile, I just cracked over to Mountain Dew and had a cold one with the boys. <laughs> you mean boy? Well, yeah, I was. Well, I was <laughs> yeah, because I don't always like that. <laughs> As, God, that's, could you make that sound less pathetic? Dude, it was, <laughs> it was me, was like, Andrew, and Carl. <laughs> two of them are fighting, and Justin wasn't home. So I was like, fuck it. Have at it, guys. Say, so, hey. Looking at the photo <laughs> album of his friends on the floor. Say. <laughs> <It's like> <laughs> <laughs> world star. Anyway. Uh, so there was no world star back in my day, Elliot. I know. There's a girl on the outside of the gym that says that if we are managed to defeat Chuck, uh, she'll give us a special item. Oh, hello. You know what really sucks? That move is fly, and that would have been great here at this gym. So, he says, so, so Silver literally came into this guy's house and forced him to give him his Pokemon. I said stealing, motherfucker. Indeed. So he can give you his only other Pokemon because he's scared for his life and doesn't want the Pokemon to be in the wrong hands. It's a Shuckle. Shuckle sucks. No, the, the, Shuckle has the highest defensive stats in the game, tied with the lowest HP and offensive values. I don't like Shuckle. However, if you give <laughs> Shuckle things like Toxic, Rest, Sandstorm, Protect, you can have a good time with him. Can you? <laughs> okay. Man, I'm still going to swipe right on that Twitter page. Absolutely. That, 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 absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, so you can have a good time. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I can do this, but I, I also have I, a fucking bear that just punches shit, and yeah, I like that more. I don't fuck with Shuckle. No Shuckle fuckles? Holy no. fuck, let's Shuckle. <laughs> but there is actually another fun little tidbit. Not, not good Shuckle. <laughs> Anyways, Unlike I you, like, I don't Shuckle. Yeah. But the th there is one good thing about Shuckle, though. Well, actually, more of a tidbit fun thing you can do with Shuckle. There have, it's Pokedex Entry states that it can actually um, take berries into itself, and then it'll produce a juice. And it actually does that, so you can actually use that to create berry <laughs> like, juice. Ursa Ring's fat face is mine right now. I don't have a link. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're lonely? Come again. Uh, yeah, so this guy, he, you help take pictures with, uh, if you have the uh, Pokemon, uh, the, the Game Boy camera. You take pictures with him? You oh, get, you call the, the police. It gives you the Game Boy camera, and then, oh, there's a Suicune. Yeah. Now, this is a Crystal exclusive character, the Seer. Uh, so, w this is a little odd thing. So, you, you choose your Pokemon, and she tells you what route you you level, you f you caught it. And what this does is that if you head back to where you caught that Pokemon after talking to the Seer, your happiness value is raised with the Pokemon. When it you does, start because I, I mentioned that earlier with the uh, lady we saw earlier. We told you that if you catch a Pokemon in a certain area and raise it in a certain area, its values go up. Yeah. Oh, that's a crabby. Also, despite the fact that we clearly saw Suicune up there in the top right, I just can't help you never by this rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you can rock smash certain rocks, and some of them have items. Uh, around here, I don't get them now, but I will get them later. There is a Revive and a Max Aether underneath one of these rocks. But sometimes you'll have random encounters with Krabby. Anyway, or what was I? Oh, right. Legendary Pokemon. Right. 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 Hey, it's Diamond Head. Bye. Feck! Why didn't you catch it? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? Uh, so now we have a uh, crystal exclusive battle. With, uh, yeah, with the uh, Suicune fucker. With, with this guy, the Suicune fucker. <laughs> Wait, don't say my nickname out loud. <laughs> I swear to God, you fucked Suicune one time. <laughs> or you want, or you just mentioned that you want to do it one yeah. time, and all of a sudden you're the you're, asshole. You're, you're the asshole. You're the Suicune fucker. Anyway, I want to challenge you to a battle. Mystical man, you seen? Yeah. He has a Drowsy, an Electrode, and some other Pokemon I don't give a fuck dark about. Dark-type fodder, basically. Yeah, no, too bad, you know, your Dark-types are non-existent. Yeah. I even need to use Faint Attack. Uh, I just fucking hit him with the head. Oh, my God. My Uber Eats driver's coming here on a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got to call him and say, you can't use that here now. <laughs> yeah, sir. Well, he's coming close, though. They're like three minutes away. Yeah. Psychic-type, <laughs> Ghost-type. It's Haunter. Just use Faint Attacks. Yeah, right? Yeah, you know, just fan attacks all the way. And you'll, you'll be fine, really. Bitch. I'm also like 11 levels above this guy. Yeah, and you're a fucking bear. Yeah, and it, yeah, at the end of the day, it's also a goddamn bear. <laughs> Roar. Like, here comes the bear, and an electro. Fastest Pokemon in the game. Still. Even and that and good. that's all. The hey. <laughs> Thunder. Thunder. Whoops. Thank, thank God, Thunder's accuracy is kind of piss. Think, yeah, off. Thunder's accuracy <laughs> became piss in this game. It went from 90 to 70. Yeah. So if you use it in Rain Dance, it's always accurate. It's, yeah, it's 100%. It's a, it's a two setup move, but you're trading that for a raw power. It's not a hurt. Like, if it hits, it fucking hurts. I'm going to keep searching for Sweet Coon. You don't have a choice. And thus you're left to wonder what the fuck anyway, the point of that was. Anyway, what was that? Alright. <laughs> Back to this rock. I thought it was. I just fuck. wanted to try to get Sweet Coon. Isn't in the anime and as well as the world, catching the legendary Pokemon are considered illegal? Allegedly, but that doesn't stop the bias in, um, 
Gen 4's enemy from owning a fucking Dark Ryan Eladios. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the guy who beats Ash in that series. Oh, what? okay. I stopped watching the anime. Whoa, it's Ryu. No, she's a typical black belt. No, this one's Yoshi, and he also committed tax fraud. That's why he's yeah. here. <laughs> he's, he's, he's keeping a low profile. I anyway. Know, him only. Very good attack power. Very redundant moveset. Rolling kick, high jump kick, jump kick, double kick. If it has kick in the name, it's fucking learning it, including blaze kick in later generations. It's also Bruce Lee. Pretty much. So oh, so a little story here behind uh, the Kadabra. So Abra, I, I took Abra to the daycare center, and I leveled him up by nine levels. Unfortunately, I went past his evolutionary point, which was 16. Which at, And Abra only, Kadabra only learns confusion if it evolves. evolves at 16. Right. If it evolves later, it's not learning confusion. So, so I, had to, I, had to, I had to keep switching him out with other Pokemon until he got to level 21 to learn Psybeam. Once you do that, then Kadabra can take care of themselves. But if you're ever going to raise an Abra into a Kadabra, make sure it's at 16 when it evolves. Otherwise, it's skipping out on confusion. Hitmonchan, this is pretty much the punching fiend. It will learn all the elemental punches it can't do shit with until Gen 4, where all of them become physically ele physically aligned. One of its later abilities is also Iron Fist, which increases the punch strength power to his moves by 20%, but, uh, you know. Fucking Comet Punch. This guy rolls a fucking 20 if he's playing D&D. It's like, <laughs> with the mad luck he gets here. Four, four, four time Comet Punch. Yeah, he right got, there. yeah, he definitely rolled a D20. He definitely rolled a nat 20. Yeah. But then he then cheats and do it again, because I, I spent a time to use a potion, then he does Comet Punch again, and this one hits me for five fucking times. Christ. <laughs> he, oh, shit. Like, God damn it. This is like, what the fuck? I just wasted a turn. Indeed, fellas. And I'm going to have to bow out of this bit. My food is here. Oh, God damn it. See you soon. Uh, no, <laughs> just knocked him mad out with a comment punch. <laughs> right. it's like, what happened? What fucking happened? <laughs> so anyway, I brought up my bear. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got to keep, yeah, you got to yeah. bring, because, <laughs> because like at this point. Like, fuck you. You knocked out my sight. Literally, it's at, it's at this point, fuck everything else. Just bring up the, <laughs> the bear. bear. and have him throw a rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I have taught her to ring strength at this point, and now I'm bitter. <laughs> and out of the yeah, game God again. damn it. And <laughs> back into the Pokemon Gym, like, right, freaking son of fucker. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Stupid fucking good. Fast forward. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to fast forward on your way to the and from the gym? No, no, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> My ass. <laughs> anyway, we got one more. Uh, no, we got two more trains before we get to Chuck. We're going to fuck Chuck. Gross. For Chuck fucks you. I don't want that. No, that's what I never heard. Of Ted's uh, Ted did a Nuzlocke run of a uh, hard gold and soul silver. Uh, I think a, a year and a half ago, and he stopped at Chuck because Chuck fucked him. Like <laughs> totally swept his team. And Shit. That was it. He didn't. He didn't follow up after that. Like, that that's what the end of the playthrough. Jesus you know, Christ. Shit like that, it kind of makes you want not want to do Nuzlocke. I just don't want to do a Nuzlocke. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, if I never do a Nuzlocke, I'm never raising a Raichu. Because I don't want to. Lose Raichu. Yeah, exactly. You know, that pisses, that, you know, depresses me. That's one thing I always wonder. Why? Oh, shit. Yeah, this guy brings our, I think this is our first Machoke that we see in the game. But, you know, still fighting type, weak psychic. Machoke, my swole. Yeah, right. The thing about fighting types, I believe, in most fighting types, is that their special defense is piss. Yeah. So they go down really easily with special attacks. So that's why I was able to one-shot him with a side beam. I always wondered, though, like, how come, why Raichu is always your favorite? I just always like Raichu. Like, I've always gravitated towards the design since Gen 1. Just mainly the design? Just the design. Yeah. I like the design of Raichu. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Pikachu, but I, I just like Raichu more. I don't know. I mean, I guess. Yeah. It's just one of those things you can't explain. I just like Raichu's design. Kind of like the whole, why do you hate this? It's like, I don't know. I just, I just, I just do. Yeah, I just hate your face. Baba Louie, Baba Louie, Baba Louie, Howard Stern's penis, Baba Louie, Baba Louie, I'm back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you missed the Machoke. Fuck. That's no, a monkey. No, it's a monkey, Elliot. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> no. Manky, all it is, all it half is, pig, half all monkey. it is, all it is, is a change of vowels. It's a half pig, half monkey, big monkey. It's how, a wait. high speed, high attack, shit defense. Wait, how is it a pig and a monkey? Look it's got the, the it's got the snout of a pig. It was literally a hybrid of a pig and a monkey. But well, that's it though. No. It literally just has a pig snout. The comical thing is this thing's always fucking angry all the time, and then Gen 7 makes it realize that as soon as it comes out from its anger, it dies. <laughs> Whoa. <Oops. laughs> so it has to be angry. It's, primar it's, proverbially, it's proverbially pissed off all the fucking time. Uh, Just primate. for the sake of living. Right? Anyway, primate. Oink. 
That's it. <laughs> yeah, really. That's all there fucking is to it. It's a fun little thing, though. You can always teach this thing some good coverage with rock slide and whatnot, but it's still frail. Oink. Fastest fighting time in the game, though, so you might as well take your pick with that. Now, the thing about, as I was telling Elliot about this earlier, and I wanted to confirm with you because you're pretty much the Bulbapedia, living Bulbapedia for Pokemon. Uh, fighting times usually have piss poor special defense, right? Normally, yes. Normally. There are some exceptions to it. Him on Chin actually has a pretty good special defense staff for what it's worth. Yeah, so this is Chuck. This is Chuck, and he likes to fuck. Yeah, Chuck learned strength. He doesn't. That's cheating. We He's can't powerful as shit. What? <laughs> has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. <laughs> are Fucker. you are you scared now? Not really. Chuck can be pretty fucking nasty though, because he has a uh, dynamic punch move in this game. Yes. But in Gen 4 remakes, he works around focus punch strategies, such as double team and focus punch, which you don't normally see in competitive move sets because they don't allow double team. <laughs> I, I like how it says, "Oh, Chuck wants to battle." Is like. No, he needs to battle. <laughs> Chuck's, now, Chuck's thing, though, is that um, his prime is armed with Rock Slide. Oh. So we'll cover some weaknesses. Oh, laser beams. Just gave me that leer. Here's looking at you again. Yeah. Poof. <laughs> now, Chuck's at a 27 to 30. He's not too bad, though. Like, the Polyrath can be the worst of it, but yeah. in reality, the only reason why it's bad is because of no surf, as long as hypnosis and uh, keep trying with dynamic punches. He has a, he has a Polyrath? Polyrath. Polyrath. Oh, shit. Fighting. That's his uh, last Pokemon. Water yeah. fighting, and it's a pretty good combination, actually. Watch, 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 watch. <laughs> Polyrath, unfortunately for me, though, I'll, I'll praise its type matchings from here to the moon, and I swear to Christ, I it's one of the most forgettable water type fighting types for me, and it shouldn't be. <laughs> I honestly forget Polyrath exists. <laughs> Ow, Elliot. Uh -oh. Mind Reader, this is his other gimmick. I knew there was something I was missing. He's getting ready. In other words, Mind Reader makes sure the next attack always hits. Yeah. And There's the next attack he's going to do. Dynamic, <laughs> dynamic punch. Dynamic punch. Unless the paralysis kicks in. Wow. And nope. nope. Oof. Ow. Half the accuracy, but it's a good 100 base power. Jesus. And, and it always confuses. Yeah. Holy shit. And that was a critical shit. hit. <laughs> but he the, punched you bear right in the fucking circle. My bear lives because it's a bear. It's all right, because it got a... Chuck is furiously masturbating. It's okay, it's okay though. Your bear got a berry. <laughs> it ate the berry. It hurt something. I just slapped myself in the face. And it tries for a dynamic punch. It should have went with And the surf. attack missed. I'm surprised you're not trying to even heal it. No, bear, it's like, oh, damn it. Bear it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because only Ursaring will be able to knock out Ursaring. <laughs> 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 that's the way it should be. Anyway, can never get back out there. Wait, what the fuck? Part fighting. You side, you side beat. There you go. Give it's it over fruit. anyway. Give it the fruit loops. You're dead. I like how serious Father Rest there looks like, oh, fuck. Damn it. It's a um, nasty combination. You know, as for as inaccurate as Dynamic Punch is, I love its animation. Watch him call. One fun thing you could do with him is, if you want to be a jerk off, take Father Rath back in the time machine with you and teach it Fissure. Then bring it back and then have it learn Mind Reader. Hey. <laughs> you can switch it a one hit KO, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, now you got this. That also match. happened with uh, Articuno, where it gained Mind Reader and Sheer Cold. And you oh, gained wow. Dynamic Punch. Basically, don't use this if you have a Pokemon that, unless you've got a Pokemon that will um, never miss or you have, like, Mind Reader. I.e., it's pretty much a Polyrath TM. Yeah. <laughs> TM Polyrath. Unless, unless Himmelchan can learn Dynamic Mind Reader, I'm not too sure. Okay, well, uh, this will be the end of this part, folks. Uh, yeah, so the lunch. When we tune in next time, we're going to actually talk to the lady outside of uh, Chuck's gym. I think it's actually think it's Chuck's wife. It is Chuck's wife. Uh, she will give you HM Fly, and we will take off back to Olive Pine City. But until then, lunch.